Hi, welcome back. This is Mr. Tipton, and we are beginning a study of proportionality, and we're going to begin that study by determining whether or not different expressions and equations are proportional. Before we do that, let's make sure we understand what a proportion is. A proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent. So an example of a proportion would be that one-half is equivalent to two-fourths. This is a proportion because both of these ratios are equivalent. Something that is not proportional would be like one-third being equivalent to nine-tenths. We know that these do not represent the same amount. So this is not proportional, but this one on the left is. It's an equation, there's an equal sign, stating that two ratios are equivalent. Moving on, there are four different ways uh, that, that we can use to determine proportionality, whether or not two things are proportional. And I'm going to go through each one of them with you. We've got dividing, reducing, finding a common denominator, and using the cross products. Four different ways to determine if two ratios are equivalent. And let's do an example. We want to know, are they proportional? We've got 20 kids from six families, and we have 16 kids from five families. I'm going to show you how to use each of the four different ways to determine if they are proportional. The first way was just straight up dividing. Do it in your head, throw it in your calculator, whatever. 20 divided by 6 is 3.3 .3 repeating, and 16 divided by 5 is 3.2. Are 3.3 .3 repeating and 3.2 the same? Are they equivalent? No, they're not, which means 20 kids from six families and 16 kids from five families, they're not equivalent. They're not proportional. Already we know, no, they're not proportional. But I want to show you how to get to that answer using all four of the ways. Okay, we just did dividing. You can also use reducing. 26 reduces, you can divide by 2. 26th is the same thing as 10 thirds. And our other fraction was 16 fifths. Nothing goes into 16 and 5 except for 1, so it's already reduced. Are 10 thirds and 16 fifths the same thing? No, they're not. Both fractions are in a reduced state, but they're not the same thing. So, no, these numbers are not, these ratios are not equivalent, so it's not proportional. Third way is with a common denominator, 26 and 16 fifths. What is our common denominator for 6 and 5? What is the smallest number that both of those numbers will go into, the least common multiple? Well, it's 30. 6 times 5 is 30, so 20 times 5 is 100. And 5 times 6 is 30. Let me just write the times 5 here. And the times 6 over here. 16 times 9 is 96. Are 100 thirtieths and 96 thirtieths the same thing? No. No, no, no. Uh, the last way, using the cross products. This might be my favorite way. 26 and 16 fifths, again, we want to know if these are equivalent. Well, you can check the cross products. If you multiply diagonally and up, 6 times 16 is 96, 5 times 20 is 100. All right, this is kind of like um, getting a common denominator and making equivalent fractions. If you notice in number 3, we've got the 100 and the 96, just like we do here. Um, but bottom line, are 196 the same? No, they're not. 
four different ways that we can tell that these two expressions are not proportional. Let's look at another example. 6 feet 240 pounds and 5 feet 200 pounds. We want to know are they proportional. First method's dividing and I'm actually going to put the bigger number on top. You don't have to. It's just a little easier to work with this time I think. 240 divided by 6 is 40 and 200 divided by 5 is also 40. They both equal the same thing. They are equivalent, which means that these ratios are proportional. We already know, but I'm going to show you the other three methods as well. Reducing. 240 over 6 and 200 over 5. Uh, 6 goes into both of these numbers, 40 times and 1 time, and 5 goes into both of these numbers, 40 times and 1 time. So when they are reduced, they are both the same thing. So, yes, yes. Third way is common denominator. Write the fractions again, 240 over 6 and 200 over 5. Oh, 6 and 5 again, so our common denominator is 30 for both of them. 6 times 5 is 30, so 240 times 5 is 1,200. 5 times 6 is 30, so 200 times 6 is 1,200. Again, we've got the same thing. We know they're equivalent which means my two expressions are proportional. And the last way is the cross products. 240 over 6, is it equal to 200 over 5? Check the cross products. 6 times 200 is 1,200. And 5 times 240 is 1,200. Again, we're getting the same numbers that we got in uh, method number 3. And again, we see that they're the same. When you are doing yours, uh, you, you don't have to use all four methods every time. Okay, you pick the one that you like the best, and you know maybe double check it with one uh, with one other method. All right. Um, oh, and that's it. Okay, so if you have questions about how to tell whether or not expressions and equations are proportional, write them down. Be ready to ask. And we'll see you soon.